So we will now film the Kit Kat taste test. And we bought around $80 worth of Kit Kats. Whoops. Sorry, not sorry. Hello guys from the Hello Kitty room of... Actually, should I say that? It sounds like we're advertising. Anyway, there's only one Hello Kitty room, I think, in Japan, so... Totally worth staying in, by the way. Not, not, not an ad. I swear this is not an ad. <laughs> So we're here with how much? Kit, how many Kit Kats? One. Around eighty dollars worth, <laughs> and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen different flavors. <laughs> we are crazy. Okay, so we're gonna start with Ama Amazake Amazake Kit Kats. I have actually had these before. But it's gonna be just this first time. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna open it. You do the honors. This was your purchase. Alright. Oh, it smells. It smells like sake. It does smell like sake. It tastes like sake. Let's try the sake one next to compare. Wow, fancy. Look at that. Sake Kit Kat. How much is open it? Okay. It says the elegant taste of sake, wrapped in the gentle sweetness of white chocolate. Oh. Enjoy the rich, satisfying flavor. Okay. They smell almost the same. This one smells sweeter. The Amazake one smells sweeter. I think it's less sweet. Yes, it But is. also, I think the sake flavor somehow isn't as strong. It isn't. Next, we're gonna try this. This is strawberry cheesecake. Oh, it smells like strawberries. I don't... What is this? Strawberry cheesecake. I feel like we should have gotten a strawberry one to compare because right now I only taste strawberry. I only taste strawberry too. Where's the cheesecake? Huh. It just tastes like a strawberry Kit Kat. It does. I taste kind of cheesy. Do you? Hoji Cha Kit Kat. This is my purchase. Uji Hoji Cha. So Uji Cha. Starbucks that you had was really good. Mm-hmm. So we do a cheers with our little Kit Kats. Cheers. Oh wow. Oh, it God, does taste like, like tea. Black. It does. It smells like tea. Oh yeah, I didn't smell it. I really like it. Oh, this is good. That's just good. Maybe you should just eat all of it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> gonna bring this back as a present for my mom. Your mom can have other flavors. <laughs> she can take the the alcoholic the ones. The sake ones? She won't like those. Oh really? She doesn't like alcohol. Purple Mara? yam. Mm -mm. Oh, purple sweet potato flavor. Oh, it's purple. I don't know whether to be concerned or not. Why not? It's a purple yam. Oh, cheers. This is really good. I don't know how it's I a feel deep about this. Yam flavor. Yeah. Yeah, deep sweet potato <laughs> flavor. Oh, I like that. Right? Mom like probably will like mm, that. This is good. It definitely tastes like sweet potato. I just don't know how I feel about that. Let's try. Okay. You were taking too long, so I if went. If you for say it. so. Pistachio and raspberry. Pistachio? <laughs> pistachio? Oh, it's it green. smells like pistachio. It's green and it looks kind of pink on the middle. It doesn't smell like raspberry. The raspberry's probably in the middle. The inside oh. pink. Raspberry oh. is indeed in the middle. Yeah, I taste it. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this one either. Oh, interesting. I don't taste the pistachio. The raspberry's too strong and kind of sour. 
raspberry is sour. You know, it's not bad. It's just like a raspberry Kit Kat. <laughs> Pretty good though. Let's try butter next in case it's like a weird flavor. All right, butter. Butter? Butter. You heard it. Butter. I'm scared. Oh, it smells like butter too. It's like sweet, sweet butter. butter. It's not bad. Tastes like. Oh, I guess it does taste like butter. Cause I was gonna say it tastes like butter beer. We have strawberry and maple next. Oh, we tried this before, right? We did. Is it a sample? Shh. <laughs> smells so good. More of a strawberry. Not much of the maple. Matcha and kinako. Oh. Now that certainly doesn't taste like matcha. You're right. Whatever that kinako is. That's what this that tastes is, like, I guess. Tastes like. I guess this is what kinako tastes like. What is kinako? Roasted soybean flour. Oh. Soybean. Roasted soybean flour. It does taste like soybeans. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. I don't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> we have the I love fruits. Box. Ooh. And that so real pretty. it is. Like, look, these all have like individual fruits on them. <coughs> so we have strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, passion fruit, and orange. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So what's going to happen is three of us are going to share, share one. one. <laughs> all right. Strawberry first. We'll see how this compares to the, to the strawberry, strawberry cheesecake and the strawberry maple. Oh, this is more strawberry. It ta this tastes like strawberry jam. Oh, this is really strawberry. Blueberry. Mm. I'm not sure if this tastes like blueberry. It's very tart. But I don't know if it tastes like blueberry yeah. either. I can't really tell if this is blueberry or not. Raspberry. Raspberry. We'll see if it tastes like the raspberry and pistachio we had earlier. Pistachio. Oh, it's sour. Oh, this is really sour. I think that's just because we've been eating a bunch of sweet stuff. Oh, God. But also, this is sour. Oh, but it does taste like a raspberry. Ooh, it's... Ooh. <laughs> I don't want any more. We can't, you can't be done yet. We haven't even gotten to the best ones. Yeah. We didn't. Too much sugar. No, you've been only taking one bite. That's a lot. It's a lot. Shh, don't tell her it's 17 Kit Kats. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Why, why am I the one looking like a fat ass here? <laughs> you got all the wrapper. They can't see it. I'm blocking it. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, that's sour. It's a little sour, but like, it's a good, I, I like this one. I like it better than the raspberry one. I yeah. Made, which was like sour, but no, no happiness. This is a happy sour. Yuzu. Oh, yuzu. No. <laughs> <laughs> sour. Sour. But Yuzu is there. Kit Kat. Nailing these flavors. That's it's actually sour. really good. I don't like it. <laughs> That's not as sour as the previous one. Mm, are you crazy? Right? That's not bad. Right? See? It's not as sour as the passion fruit and the raspberry. This one's oh, actually no, really no. good. You know, this actually reminds me of like the citrus honey tea that you have, like the Korean citrus oh, yeah. honey tea you have. Yeah. There's right? no honey in it. This is a citrus No, honey. it tastes it's like it. Citrus. No, no, no. There's no, like honey. There's no honey. There is honey. And now we are moving on to how many more? The three more. We're moving on to the sublime, sublime line. So there are six types total, but I'm a broke college student and I could only afford to pay for three. So we picked the um Ruby. Ruby. What's the next one? It says raw sublime. And oh, the last like one? Dark chocolate or something. And then a matcha one, I think. And a matcha one, yes, correct. So we're gonna start with 
We're going bottom up. Yeah, so let's, let's do that. The matcha. We're starting with the matcha. The ruby chocolate is actually something new. So we're gonna save that for last. It's special. It's in, yeah, it's in like the category of like, it's, in, it's not in the same category as dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. It's in its own category, so it's like four different types of chocolate. It'll I no great. longer have any idea what you're talking about, but packaging for these are also super cute, by the way. That's the matcha. Oh, that's really good. Whoa. Should have bought a normal matcha Kit Kat to see what to like compare. What is it? We should have matcha, but Here. sublime version. Here, but it's like I can tell this flavor is deeper in this one than more the, matcha. Yeah, more matcha. Wow, that's good. I feel like this is less sweet than a normal matcha one. Mm. It is. It's more, more matcha, matcha flavor. flavor, so it's a bit more bitter than the other matcha. The dark chocolate one. Whoa, that's dark. Oh, it's bitter. That's well, dark. It's not bitter. Yeah. But it's definitely on the darker side. It's a little bit bitter. But dark chocolate's my favorite chocolate. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of us like dark chocolate. That's so good. this is right up our alley. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Definitely quite bitter, especially after all this sweet stuff we've been eating. And this is our finisher, the grand finale, Sublime Ruby. I actually have no idea what this means. Just says it's another kind of cho chocolate. chocolate. In chocolate January Kit Kat. of this year, they introduced it to Kit Kat, Japan and Korea. It definitely tastes different from milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Right. And it's not white chocolate. Yeah. It's definitely distinct. It has like a bit of a fruity taste to it. It does. Right? And it's a bit sour, like it said. It is sweet. A little bit sour. I wouldn't say it's sour, but it... Well, I guess so fruity implies a little bit of sourness to it. It sort of tastes like... The raspberry, but toned down, like really toned mm. down. Well, guys, we just ate. I just want you to know, just this box, just this set, ten dollars, three bars. That means each bar, three point three dollars. That means, and we each split these into three bites. So that means each bite of each one was a dollar. I just want you to know that. When you took a bite out of this, you okay, were eating a dollar. Put that back. Put that back. I, I just want you to know because I paid for it. <laughs> Each bite was a dollar. Just had to get that off my chest. All right. Well, it is currently 1:02 in the morning, and we just ate 17 Kit Kat bars. <laughs> we're gonna go brush our teeth twice. <laughs> <laughs> Dental hygiene is important. I am very cool. Um, but yeah. Okay, favorite Kit Kat. Favorite Kit Kat, okay. My favorite Kit Kat was probably the Uji Cha. Me too, me too. This but we one we is just both name. really love, love tea. tea. And we, we tried a Hoji Cha Starbucks frap earlier in Japan. And we also both really enjoyed that. Yeah. So we're yeah, we just really like. We're just tea, tea people. I'm a really big tea person. So this is our favorite. But I will also say, the ruby one is a surprise. I'm like fairly impressed with what they've done to this chocolate. So, yeah, it's kind of pricey, but like if you are, ow. <laughs> if you want to get a, someone special a gift, get them. If you know they're a chocolate or Kit Kat aficionado, get them the ruby one. Cool packaging too. Alright guys, thanks for watching!